interesting when we bring up these uh, spiritual concepts, spiritual experiences, it comes in the realm of religion. And doing this in a, a, a context, mm -hmm. in, a, in a, a psychiatric setting. Yeah. Um, do, do either one of you have, have any feelings about this, uh, where r religion and spirituality are meeting uh, psychiatry? Well, it's, <clears throat> it's, we've thought a lot about how to put something that's happened in a ceremonial perspective in, uh, let's say, a very indigenous setting. How do you put that into a psychiatric research paradigm? And that, that is a big challenge, because how do you take some of the aspects that are uh, potentially helpful in that setting, put them in this setting? And again, we, we talked earlier about the you don't want to put someone in too uh, hospital-looking kind of setting. And so we've worked hard to create a room that... Um, that looks more like a, a living room, and we've tried to ritualize mm -hmm. um, certain things. So, uh, and this happens, I think, at UCLA and, and Hopkins to a degree. There's some ritualization of the experience, um, and what we've done with my co-therapist, uh, we'll sort of join hands with the subject right before, and there'll be a moment of silence, and the subject will think about what their intention is. Um, the person will bring in certain mentos um, beforehand, and they'll make the room their own. Mm -hmm. um, and that could include religious symbols, icons. Um, it's, you know, it's hard to sort of m put these two very disparate worlds together, but we do what we can to preserve the traditional use of these agents in a very uh, sterile research kind of setting. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a big challenge. Integration of science and spirituality is, is really very popular now. Uh, <coughs> I'll say it again. And the integration of science and spirituality is really uh, very common now in healthcare. There was a great quote by Albert Einstein: "Science without religion is lame. Religion without science is blind." Um, um, the two do have a place uh, working with each other, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and this study can be described in purely secular terms as serotonin agonists that produce feelings of interconnectedness and unity and transcendence and facilitate relational connection, or it can be defined in strictly spiritual terms as um, a sacrament that evokes a sense of spirituality and sacredness. And so either language mm -hmm. is fine, whatever lexicon one wants to choose. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. But we are talking about two domains, but in many ways they, were, they, could, they could overlap uh, mm -hmm. in a sensitive way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's an exciting time to have psychiatry and spirituality merge in this way and not be seen as competing or, or separate forces, that there is an overlap. We're looking at consciousness and health and those are efforts of psychiatry, and those are goals of, of spirituality. So why should they be so separate? Mm -hmm.